so this is us. Well, it's live when we're filming, but it won't be live for the to do from Orchard Main's farm. I don't know exactly what the story is here that I've got to tell, but this view here was lambing. So just to be on the safe side, we lambed the first one to make sure everything was okay. And this was the one, and that's a wee girl. Tell us what that is. What's the red stuff? So that's iodine that we put on to stop infection on the navel or umbilical cord and the ewe then just she's an older ewe she's about three or four years old and uh so she's quite easily lambed the next one is a pair of girls which is good news for granddad mcmillan because the girls these are scotch mule lambs so that's a black face which is a, which is the most prevalent sheep in the United Kingdom, and it's a, it's an upland sheep, a hill sheep. So it's used to higher out, rougher land. And what you do is you cross that with a blue Leicester, which is a longer, heavier sheep, and that produces what's called the Scotch mule, which is known to be a little bit hardy, but a bigger, heavier sheep, so um, better for meat production. Interestingly, this cow over here, she's in here because she's quite wild and we thought she just didn't like humans but it appears she also doesn't like <laughs> sheep because so she's been taking a wee snort at this sheep if it's happened to get to in here. <laughs> so what we do is we'll just pop this in a pen for a couple of days, let the lambs get strong and then um, they'll get taken out to the fields which on days like today looks alright. But when it's driving sleep, it's slightly less attractive, and that's why we keep them in here for a couple of days. On the gate? Oh, need that gate open, Louise. This one here, actually. You like to pull that? That's a bit of teamwork. And then are you going to fill up the water, actually? Yeah. Thanks. There we go. There she is with the lambs. <laughs>